Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So now we are going to solve one Python program. So write a program that reads a list of temperatures from a file called temps.txt. Converts those temperatures to Fahrenheit and writes the result to a file called ftemps.txt. That means there is a file called temps.txt. In this file, there are set of temperatures in Celsius. Now we are going to convert these temperatures into Fahrenheit. These are the Fahrenheit values equivalent to these values. And store these values in another file. The file name is ftemps.txt. Now we can see how we can solve this problem. So how we can open a file by using open method. So file 1 equals to open temps.txt or means you are write, read the data from that file. So lines equals to files.read line. That means all these lines are stored in a list. So that is a list name is lines. That means it stores 45.7 slash n like this. So 44.5 slash n. Next 44.8 slash n. Next 43.3 slash n. Next 43.2 slash n. Next 44.1 slash n. So this is the list lines. All the lines are stored in a list called lines. Now we are going to uh, convert these temperatures into farm heat and stored in a file. The file name is ftemps.txt. You are going to open and it is in W mode. W means you are going to write the data onto the file. So file to dot open ftemps.txt. That means in primary memory there is a file created empty. What is the file name? ftemps.txt. After that, I need range of length of lines. What is the length of lines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means initially the value is 0. In next iteration, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means we execute these instructions 6 times. In first iteration, what is the C? C equals to lines of I strip. What is the lines of I? I means 0. This is the 0. This is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So lines of 0 means 45.7 slash n. Strip means these empty spaces are removed. F equals to subfloat of C. That means the 43.7 is in the form of string that is converted into the float. The formula for the conversion of Celsius into Fahrenheit is so Celsius plus 9 by 5 that equals to 1.8 plus 32. So this is the round function we are using to round up to 2 digits. Float of C means 45.7 into 1.8 plus 32. And it is rounded to 2 digits. Then we get 114.26. So file to dot write. So now I write this data onto the file str. I convert the float into string again. So that means 114.26 slash n. That means after completion of this, the cursor goes to next line. That means this is placed here. 114.26. And the cursor is waiting here. In next iteration, same. 44.5 so again we can perform all these operations we get 112.1 for next 112.64 for next one 109.94 for next one 108.14 for last one 311.38 so that's it after that so file do not close this is important why so Initially, you are opening a file that is in the primary memory. What is a file? So, file is nothing but storing the information on secondary memory. Now, all these are we done at primary memory. Now, we are going to store these values onto 
secondary memory if you are not writing this then file is created but that is empty so f dot close is nothing but when you are closing this all the changes are made to original file that means these contents are saved on to secondary storage device so so f times dot txt contain this value So now we see the execution of the program. So one is file temps.txt. You can see that. So this is the temps file. So temperatures in Celsius. So there is no file with f temps here. We execute this program program is executed now we can check in that folder this is the file created this is the output temperatures equivalence to fahrenheit